Sometimes you'll have a project with a variable and you'll want to use that variable but you won't actually know if what the value of the variable is. And let's say we want to console.print this variable v for example. So it's saying it's undefined and that's because we haven't assigned a value to this variable. So if I give it the value 10 for example that error goes away because now the variable is defined. And if I delete that assignment of 10 and hit it, uh, hit F5 again, again it says it's undefined. So sometimes you'll want to make sure a variable is defined before you use it. So the usual way we'd check the value of a variable is to write if, and then the name of the variable equals equals whatever we want to check. Is it 10? Is it 20? Uh, is it undefined? So that's how we can check if it's undefined. We can actually use the keyword undefined. And in this case, we'd want to see if it's not undefined. So we can put an exclamation mark there to make it not equal to. So we're saying if V is not undefined, then print V. So if I hit F5, it's going to get rid of the error, but we won't see anything printed because V is undefined. But a slightly neater way of doing this instead of writing this out is there's a built-in function called isDefined. So we can write isDefined V. So if the variable is defined, it will print V and obviously the variable isn't defined so we're not getting anything there but if I change this to have a value then it will print the value 10. So I think using this is defined function is a bit clearer than writing V not equals undefined and it, it's easier to read and uh, I find it easier to use. Now if you want to know the opposite, you want to know if it's not defined, you can just put an exclamation mark at the beginning. Alright, I hope you found this little tip helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.